We've looked at the basics of the structural split section. Now let's look at using some of the effects on the transient and tonal sections. So I'm going to start with the delay, and I've got this on a drum loop now. Let me play it for you, and you can hear what it sounds like. So a pretty typical four on the floor kind of groove. Now I'm going to put the delay on. It's the first of our selectable effect blocks. I'll look at warp in a moment. First thing is the sync mode. We have three possibilities. We can have it synced to the session when this padlock icon is enabled, and that's our project tempo now. Or we can freely set it to a different tempo, which can generate some interesting polyrhythms. Or we can have it off and sync via milliseconds completely freely. I'm going to leave it synced to tempo for now. Let's go to something a little unusual that we don't often see, 5 16th notes. Feedback sets the amount of the delay output that's fed back into the delay. And if we go over 100%, we can really get a self-oscillating signal, but I'll keep it low for now. And low cut allows us to filter the low roll off and we can filter the high end here and a mix control. So let's experiment with this. So very interesting, just like that. And I have the mix way up so we can, of course, hear what's going on. And we can combine that with delays on the bottom section. So similarly, we have the controls for both of these. Now, before we do that, let's look at warp. What warp does is it controls whether changing the delay time causes a kind of tape echo glide effect. That's when it's on or kind of a crossfade when it's off. So I'll modulate these values as this is on and off and you'll hear the difference. Versus on. So it's a different manner of gliding between the different rhythmic values. I'm going to leave it on for the moment. And let's set up a different one in the tonal section. I'll go to maybe dotted eighths to start with, and let's experiment with that. very interesting and we can compensate with the gain over here or we can use this as a global kind of dry wet mix very different from the original And as you can hear, the modulation adds some random chorusing to some of the voices that are generated. Now, when this is off, this becomes a send slider, so we can send to more of this effect or this effect. Or a bit of both like that. So there's usefulness for having that off and simply blending between the two effects. Next up is a tap delay. We have similar sync modes, project tempo, separate tempo, or freely in milliseconds all the way up to four seconds. We can go up to 32 taps that are generated and taper controls the volume of the taps over how many there are. 
And as we dial in negative values, there'll be a fade up over the taps. And in positive values here, it'll give a fade down over the taps. So let me just illustrate this for you. And I've got my mix set here, and I've got it soloed in this top one. So it controls the volume of them, and this controls the spacing of the taps. So when we dial negative values, they'll group the taps more towards the beginning, so they're tighter and quicker together, and positive values will spread them out a bit more towards the end of the delay range. So I kind of think of it as like ahead of the beat or behind the beat, and then we have our mix control. And we can combine it. And I've got my volume offsets here to generate the blend of how much I want of each of these. And then my global mix and global gain offset. Here's an unconventional use of this on a lead vocal. Here's what it sounds like without this applied. Like the ghost of a friend, the egg will suffice. An infection of spirit is my favorite fight. So there's just a bit of reverb on it. Now with this on, I've got this set to delay on both the transient and tonal effects. And they're the same settings on both. Slight difference in the milliseconds, but more or less the same. And I've got the trans decay up so that we get smoother transition to the transients. And it gives a smoother quality to the delays that are generated. So listen when it's affecting just the tonal elements. Like the ghost of a friend, the egg will suffice. An infection of spirit is my favorite fight. Compared to the attack portion of the sound. Like the ghost of a friend, the egg will suffice. And a so very different quality with the same settings. We can put both on and combine them, of course. Maybe I'll set this differently or a little bit more differently so that we have a kind of doubling and tripling effect. Like the ghost of a friend, the egg will suffice. An infection of spirit is my favorite vice. But the idea being that we can affect the tonal elements and listen with this lower, the different quality that we get, just with this. Like the ghost of a friend, the egg will suffice. And how much smoother it is up here. Like the ghost of a friend, the egg will suffice. And it almost feels like sidechain compression to me. So very interesting possibilities with these delay effects on vocals as well. We'll continue with more in the next video.